And hello to you from a city that's never short of style. I'm talking, of course, about the French capital, Paris. We're at the Parc des Princes. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender, Lee Dixon. And we've got Champions League group stage fair on the venue. It's Paris Saint-Germain taking on Real Madrid. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. team looks like this. Jorginho Wijnaldum starts alongside Marco Verratti in the engine room and in this tactical constellation it's just one man in attack. to say whenever I come here to the Parc des Princes I'm reminded of 1981 and Alan Kennedy's dramatic winner for Liverpool in the European Cup final against Real Madrid yeah full backs union you don't see him up in that area of the pits very often but what a goal that was created a brilliant atmosphere at the end of that game and the starting players for Real Madrid and you tend to know what you're going to get tactically from this team. High pressing. Well, high pressing, high energy. I played this system at Arsenal many a year under George Graham. It doesn't half work when it works well. Sometimes you can just get exposed to the back, but they've got it down to a tee, to be fair. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. Under Herrera. Here's Carvajal. And make no mistake, Lee, Real Madrid expect to progress to the knockout stages in every Champions League campaign. Nevertheless, Toni Kroos, full of ideas on the passing front. Priority was to hang on to the ball, which he did. A look at Neymar, a true entertainer, whether for club or Neymar. And forward this time goes Neymar with options aplenty. By no means on his own here. Verratti and Neymar. Messi waiting to pounce. And the danger clear. Casemiro. Here is Marco Asensio. Superb pass by Marco Asensio. Exquisite pass from Casemiro. And no nonsense defensive clearance. Regaining possession for his side, cleverly. Oh, goodness, he was right on top of the situation to get the ball back for his team. Verratti. Mbappe with it. This is Neymar. Verratti now. Under Herrera. Now Casemiro, tremendous intuition to win it back. They might see the wide route as a fruitful one, PSG. It's Kimpembe now. Under Herrera. Here's Mbappe. Neymar. Neymar! Corner given to PSG. the short option preferred back from the byline well that's very smart defending and now they have the ball again and slipped through by Karim Benzema he might profit from here you know 
Nice and easy for the keeper. Lionel Messi. Mbappe with it. Messi. Hakimi. And Kylian Mbappe. Herrera. Mbappe. And Herrera. Carrying a genuine threat here. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. And he's fired over the corner, attending to his defensive chores. And Neymar. And it's Wijnaldum. An authoritative challenge. Karim Benzema. It's Kimpembe now. Verratti now. PSG on the move with purpose. What can they do from this particular position? Bodies forward and the break looks on. Marco Asensio is in. And Marco Asensio. And the defender takes care of business. Given away. Here's Mbappe. This is Neymar. Now, let's see. Herrera. And it is Marco Verratti. Meat and drink to the Belgian. And so the half-time whistle is gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Neymar, supremely talented, but it doesn't always happen for him. I wonder, Lee, is it happening for him tonight? Well, no goals for him, no real chances either. He needs to help his team a little bit more just to get involved in the game. I think he would be the difference if he was... Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. The ball with Luka Modric. Marco Asensio. Real Madrid have given it away. Benzema takes it forward now. Read it superbly to take back possession. It's Kimpembe now. Neymar. Verratti now. Wijnaldum now. Herrera. Verratti. Wijnaldum. Well, regaining possession for his side cleverly. Now with Hakimi, under Herrera. Wijnaldum now. Under Herrera. Wijnaldum. Kimpembe. Here's Marquinhos. Under Herrera. Lionel Messi. Kylian Mbappe. Now, what can he do here? Still alive. The object of the exercise is to keep them out. Here is Marco Asensio. This is Kroos. Plenty of running room in the wide position. Will he play it in? Is he going to punish them here? And you need your defender to take charge. Thunder's clear. Now, let's see. Herrera. It is a fruitful forward run. And thwarted there following the cross. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Well, this is quite the personnel switch. Three PSG substitutions all in one go.
Fired in by Neymar. Can they take the lead? Denied by the bar. Back in play here. Well, I thought that was the lead right there, but no. So, so close. And will there be a tangible end product? Marquinhos with the block. Look at Modric. And a no-nonsense clearance. And now here's Aiden Azar. Look at Modric. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. Over it comes. And you're not going to bamboozle the goalkeeper with a corner like that. Kimpembe. Braxler now. It's Kimpembe now. Braxler. Idrissa Gay. Given away. And it's a case of just five minutes left. He might be able to profit from the wide position. This attack looks highly promising. They're on the scent of a winner late in this game. The referee has decided that two additional minutes are in order. Tony Kroos. Messi! We wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the opposition? Well, here's the replay with the clock ticking down. Has he won the game for his team? Cool, calm and collected. He deserves that. Brilliant finish. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider well now is his final and Real Madrid will be wondering where it went awry tonight a terrible start to their Champions League campaign that's the last thing you need start of the qualifying stages you don't need a zero point Sally you almost need memory loss now to forget about that down to five games to qualify the thing about Lionel Messi is we expect that he'll take games by the scruff of the neck and he's done that this evening. Well, he did have a good performance, didn't he? But it's all about snatching that late goal to grab the win. 